Hi Plaque Pals, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Brittany, and today I will be talking about my newest short series, which is Dental Terms 101. So I had a request from one of you, one of the Plaque Pals, to do like a video to talk about some dental terms that will be really helpful for pre-dental students. So that way when you're shadowing or assisting, you can actually have kind of an idea what the dentist is talking about. Interested in finding out more? Today's episode will be about the numbering system and also what type of teeth we have. Keep watching this video to find out. We have an upper part and a lower part. The upper arch is called the maxillary and the lower arch is called the mandibular. And they're split into quadrants or fourths. So we split it right in the middle for each arch. So, pop quiz. How many molars do human adults typically have? Pause this video and see if you get it right. If you answer 12, then you're correct because we have three molars per quadrant, so three times four equals 12. We have the first molar, second molar, and the third molar. Third molar, AKA the wisdom tooth, that some people may or may not have. Next are the premolars, and we have two per quadrant, so two times four is eight. And then our favorite tooth, the canine. In each quadrant, we have one, so one times four is four. And then we have the lateral incisor, which we have one of, so there's four in total, and the central incisor, which is one per quadrant, so we have four. So that's our general teeth. We have 32 teeth. And how do we number them? In the United States, we use the universal system. And ironically, we are the only country that uses the universal system. So I think it should kind of be named differently but how it works is one to 32. We start from the upper right, go along and to the upper left, then we snake down to the lower left and follow and go to the lower right. So it would be, you start from, my model does not have the wisdom teeth, but imagine that it's there. We, we got one, the wisdom tooth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which is a wisdom tooth, 17, another wisdom tooth, 18, 19, which is my wax tooth right here, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32, the invisible wisdom tooth. And you're asking Brittany, how on earth can I ever memorize that they're just numbers? Well, one good way that I learned in my class, my first year, is that we need to know like the anchor teeth or like the iconic teeth. So we, uh, what I do is I memorize the first molars. So number three, which is this one, 14, 19, and 30. And the canines, which are, you can use them as anchor teeth too, which are six, 11, 22 and 27. And of course, you can know the middle teeth right in the middle, which is eight and nine. And when you're studying these, don't look in the mirror because that's not really how you'll be looking at your patients. If you have a great model, you can kind of look at them um, from this angle. So you can kind of see, okay, this is gonna be my patient. Rather than if you faced it, it's not really realistic or it can help, but I'd rather learn it the way that we're, you know, supposed to see the patient's mouth. Anyways, that is it for this video. I will be having more kind of short quick videos that pre-dental students can quickly run through. Uh, my next video will probably be about positioning and how to name things like mesial, distal, interproximal, occlusal, incisal. What do those things mean? Tune into my next episode of Dental Terms 101 with Brittany Goes to Dental School. Bye! He said 12, it's 11, 6, 11. Oh, sorry. What should Just I say? Start from K9. He said 6, 12, oh, sorry. 6, 11. I was hearing myself, 6, 11? Yeah. Okay. You already pressed it or it's okay? This kid's okay. still rolling.